I'm Deb and today I'm going to make this lovely box using the Twilight Kingdom. Right, I'm going to start um, by scoring a piece of black adorable scorer ball. I've used an A3 size sheet initially and I've cut it down to 29 centimetres by 33. So what I'm going to do is score at 12 centimetres on every side. Spin it round after each. Just because it's a little bit longer than my scoreboard, I'm just going to move it up a little bit just to get that last little section on. And then the last one. This is, this is going to be the base of the box. So what I'm also going to do as well, just for it so I can cut it easily to make the uh, gluing flaps, I'm going to do four centimetres, uh, two centimetres in. I'm just going to go up to that line up again on it round each side. There's our base. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut off the excess bits. So you do the same on each corner. big pair of scissors on this, it's quite good because you get quite a good cut. And the last one. The lid, I've cut at nine, again using black adorable scorer ball, I've cut at 9.3 by 13.3 centimetres and this one is going to be scored two centimetres from each edge all the way around. Right, now we've cut our little uh, segments out of the lid. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to pop some red tape on each corner. Off 
Okay, I can start by folding each one in individually and line it up. And there we go, we've got the, the lid. What we're going to do now is the same thing with the black. I'm just going to add some tape uh, with the base, sorry. On the black side. section now we've got our box I'm laid and now we're going to decorate it so what I've used is I've got panels of mirror for each side and then also for the top so I've, I've Cut them down. The mirror I've cut to eight and a half by eleven and a half centimeters for the wider panel, and the piece of card just on top of it I've cut down to eight centimeters by eleven centimeters. two side panels to do. So these I have used, the mirror is four and a half centimetres by eleven and a half centimetres and the cardstock is four centimetres by eleven centimetres. the side of the box. Seven centimeters by eight point seven centimeters, and the cardstock is four point three centimeters by eight point three. 
get any excess glue on your, on your card, you can just wipe it off. I've also decorated the side panels on the lid, which you can do, but again, you just need some mirror, you just cut it so you've got a little border that shows a little bit of the black and then just a slightly smaller panel for each of your, your, uh, your cardstock. Right, the next step is, what's going to go inside it? I've already made these, and you've got envelopes that are four by three. to fit. So basically what I've used um, is various pieces of uh, backing card. Uh, I've used an insert as the backing on that one. You can use anything you like really. Especially if you've got small off cuts. So, and then you put the tiny toppers look quite well on these. I've used just one that I've almost ready for you. What I've done, each one I've put a little insert in, but just, just so it's on that side. So I've just got a piece of this is off uh, one of the inserts, so just so it coordinates. Just put a little bit of tape just down that side. Just lined it up with that side and then that bit. I've got a piece of mirror that fills the full, full area of the front of the card. And again, I've used a piece of uh, coordinating um, cardstock and used a topper and a sentiment. Thank you for watching.